It, it is really a practice that brings both the mind and the body together. Cause I feel like in Western practices, like we know yoga, we know, like, I, like we keep everything separated, like, oh, this is physical. And then these things are for your mental health, right? You do things for your physical health and mental health separately. And this is really a practice where you're doing both at the same time. And I, I know traditionally yoga is supposed to be a holistic practice, but in the West, we've kind of just focused on the physical side of it. Mm-hmm. So, so I think you know, this, we're really moving towards more seeing that it's all connected rather than let me just compartmentalize all these little things. I would absolutely agree with you on that. Oh, yeah. And the last thing I want to add is, and you, you would see this in the film that we created, when you start tapping physically into your body and working on the physical body and starting to create energy flow by tapping on certain areas, it helps with your circulation. What it also does is helps you uncover and tap into deep stored emotions. Mm -hmm. So I would also add that as we're looking at this practice and you're tapping and you're doing all these different modalities, it's like, it's, it's impossible not to address the emotional and mental and all of that side of life it's, it's just happened so organically. Mm-hmm. It's one of the things I love. Yeah, about it's this. true. After a while of tapping, I'll just start crying. Yeah. Like, that was how oh. I, I experienced that too in the beginning. And that brings another topic that I, I've talked about on my YouTube channel as well, but like your emotions are stored in different parts of your body. Right. And we usually don't recognize it. Do you want to speak a little bit about that in, in your personal experience? Hmm. I have examples, but I'm yeah, curious. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, I was at a retreat recently, and I love retreat settings because it's so immersive. I'm not like trying to do a quick class between working and something else, right? You're in Sedona, in this case, is where I was. And I was actually tapping, like. Are you talking my, about the wellness retreat? In yeah. The Sedona Wellness? Uh, Sedona Wellness. <laughs> At Sedona Mago, for those who don't know. Yes, Yes. such a magical place. But I was doing tapping and I was just like, yeah, I'm creating circulation, creating an open heart. It was like my solar plexus. And all of a sudden I had this rage that I, I mean, I don't get angry. I, that's my badge of honor. I'm always, regardless of what is happening, I don't show anger because I don't feel angry. I just have compassion. And all of a sudden I was tapping and I felt like I could just rip somebody's head off and I couldn't, I'm like, Which who is, is scary this? Because you're very strong. <laughs> I am strong, but I'm also very gentle. Yeah, like I'm a very yeah. gentle natured you human. So that. I kind yeah. of like, it felt invigorating and empowering. And I was like mad and I was crying, but it was like tears of anger for the years of my childhood where I could not stick up for myself. Mm-hmm. And Oh my gosh. I went to Chrisanna afterwards and was like, I found something that was buried so deep within me. And I wasn't, I couldn't think my way. It wasn't a thought process. Mm -hmm. Like, Oh, I'm going to think about all the things that make me angry. No, no. I'm going to tap on my body. And all of a sudden this is going to emerge from anger. You've suppressed for so many years. Wow. And I had actually, we had had conversations where I was like, where's your anger about all that you've just been through with surgery. And I'm like, there must be anger there. Cause I'm angry. And she's like, no, I'm not angry. I feel fine. (laughs) Like you've just been trained to always be perfect and fine. And totally. Wow. Yeah. yeah. And peaceful. Very mm. peaceful. Where anger is like my superpower. So. <laughs> I love that. Got it. I can tap into her anger. <laughs> can you get angry about this? Right. The, the lesson is you, if you feel emotions, you have to let it out. If you keep it in, it's going to get stored somewhere. That emotion is raw energy. It, it's going to get stuck somewhere. 